Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Scorpio. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, Scorpios, is through the comments. As well, remember, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio, because it does help out my tarot, tarot channel a lot whenever you guys take that extra step to uh, support my channel in that way. Also, remember, Scorpio, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Use your intuition because put it in perspective. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. And so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, darling. Um, I believe my tarot cards, my weekly horoscopes are just here for you to give, are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, darling, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. What's going on with you at this current time? What is in the works for y'all? How are you guys currently feeling, Scorpio? Let's see here. Starting this energy out, you have the Seven of Cups. So choices, 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 Scorpio. You have a lot of choices presented in front of you. This card says the Seven of Water or the Seven of Cups because Cups is water energy. A complex energy or a complex decision, rather. The need to do research and to stop procrastinating. So Scorpio, uh, you guys have, especially recently, been in this extremely analytical energy. You guys have... Scorpio for quite a bit um with the seven of cups here it's especially remembering remembering from your last week's reading um it shows to me that you guys are ooh, I'm starting to lose my voice now darling oh my goodness <laughs> it gives me this sense here that uh you guys are almost keeping your vision too wide I feel like you guys need to Scorpio become laser focused and just pick a cup right make a decision on something um you can be looking at all these different options um until you're blue in the face darling but i don't see things opening up for you any further or for things to have any further clarity than what they are they uh currently do scorpio if i'm going to be honest here um i do feel like this is i'm just getting this feeling darling and maybe we'll see like the cards will see the cards will tell all but i am getting this uh idea that uh, you, Scorpio, are going to be pushed into uh, making a decision, right? This is going to reflect a reading all about just committing to a decision. So let's see. We have the Hermit card coming in here. Okay. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse coming in. This is interesting. Two of Wands coming in. And then we have the Five of Pentacles coming in here. So Scorpio, you guys are kind of keeping yourself reclused off. I almost feel as if this Hermit card, if I can be bold enough to say, uh, is almost like a defense mechanism for you guys to start reclusing, to start, you know... I almost feel like this Hermit card is more so an association with allowing your inhibitions or your guard to just go up a little bit further. Um, have you been noticing yourself, Scorpio, recently getting uh, a little bit more in your head, a little bit more insecurity? A card tried to pull out. Nine of Pentacles is, yeah, definitely almost this sense, Scorpio, of, um, yeah. Have you guys been, I know from last week, Scorpio, you guys had a very strong message from spirit coming through of trying to reach out to you and you two making a connection. But in this sense here, I almost feel like you guys are almost holding up. Maybe this is just a sign, uh, Scorpio, of you guys really focusing in on being productive, right? Um, I don't want to come at it uh, too much of a chastising point of view, right? Because this is very much so also dynamic with this hermit card and the uh, nine of pentacles as an energy of very much so locking the doors, kick, taking away all the distractions, darling, and just focusing on the work. Let's see with one last card here. Yeah, focusing on the work with the star card. 
Um, now this is interesting then, because let's go into this narrative a little bit further, right? With the star card, you guys are just chasing after your dreams. You're going after, you're just doing the work. Um, I also, it's a weird side note, because the water, or the water, the star card has, you know, is the has the artwork um, of two cups being filled and just like the balancing of emotions. So I do feel like at this time, a lot of these Scorpios are going to be experiencing a lot of things being lifted off of your shoulders. I do feel like it's just each day that goes by, even if you weren't aware of like if um, the weight that was on you or maybe you weren't aware about like how much of a depression that you might have been in even scorpio it does feel like uh as like each day improves you're just like oh wow like i feel oddly a lot better than i normally ever would like it's one of those things uh scorpio where it's like you're just so used to experiencing certain aches and pains whether it's emotionally or physically even darling um and now like at, you're so used to it that it's become your everyday and so once that's starting to improve you're just like oh wait a minute everybody doesn't feel all this pain everybody doesn't always just feel this consistent level of anxiety um but i do want to get into this page of cups or uh, not this page of cups this page of wands in the reverse for you scorpio because this is an interesting thing because i always say the page of wands is the card of fresh starts Right. And so naturally with those three cards that we have over here, with that hermit and all of that Scorpio, I would be like, okay, the Scorpio is in this place. They're just trying to pave their way and really trying to create something for themselves. Right. Um, but then now this is where I feel like the seven of cups energy starts coming in here that this is all clarifying because it's like, well, you perhaps are in this reclusive trying to be productive energy, perhaps a uh, Scorpio uh, with this page of wands, you might be going back into, well, before I start running my mouth, honey, let me look at some cards here. We have the eight of pentacles in the reverse for this. It feels like for some of you guys, you're going back to something that you guys left at one point. Three of Cups, though, but it's not a bad thing. I'm going to be straight up. I feel like I have to like point this out because if I don't, I'm going to be getting a bunch of comments of people being like, oh, this is X energy. I don't want this. Like, no, no, darling, no. Um, it feels like there's some type of presence or some type of opportunity um you know the you know some type of idea right that was presented to you at one point scorpio where you're just like ooh, i could like do something with this but you didn't at one point now i kind of feel like you guys are going back to it um now with this three of cups here this is where my optimistic nature wants to take this and be like oh okay like you're going back to something you know maybe to like a connect especially with the three of cups you can associate this with like a another connection, another person, where it's just like someone that has always been present in your life, Scorpio, you just start, you're starting to connect with them more. I am just hearing like a side note as like something that came through is like maybe you guys are connecting to like another Scorpio or someone has strong Scorpio in their chart. Um, something, it's a message that's never really just came forward before. Um, but I do get this random sensation with this through your cups. There's some type of similarity happening here. So maybe this is just a similarity of someone in like your own in the similar interest and field almost um but yeah i do feel like you're almost in this reclusive state and maybe considering going dabbling back into this energy again right uh, and maybe this is what is confusing you a little bit with this two of wands here now you're just in this place now perhaps of being like well um this old situation seems really good but what do you do Three of Wands comes in as a clarifier with the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Scorpio, I am almost now understanding like your confusion here. I feel like I always end up getting to this point with y'all <laughs> because it's like you guys are at this place of really, it feels like you're backtracking a little bit, but not necessarily in a bad way, but it's almost like you're checking over your steps, you're re- uh, recovering your steps, retracking your steps, and figuring out like what it is that um, you could improve yourself. I feel like, again, this is almost like another reading for you, Scorpio, where you're starting to internalize things and being like, you know, and it might be even associated with you 
uh, doing like, as I was saying from before, like I feel like you guys are just having things just lifted off of your shoulders each day. Like something is just clearing for you, Scorpio. Um, and it's almost just like now with like better vision with this uh, cleared vision, now you're able to see something that you initially maybe perhaps kept at a uh, arm's length. And you're just like, you know what? Let me start entertaining this more. Let me start leaning into this more. Something that you kind of very much so like a four cups energy right where it's just like you missed opportunity keeping your eyes close to the situation because you're so focused on like um things to the side that you're not seeing what spirits are trying to present to you right so now you're almost perhaps seeing like with this five of pentacles this is where some of you scorpios are have been having some honest conversations with yourself um because it does feel like you guys have felt been trying to figure out like why it is you don't fit in into certain, certain dynamics or why it is that you have like this because with the five of pentacles i always associate with like anxious energy and just energy you're just like feeling outcasted so knight of swords in the reverse yeah a lot of you scorpios are almost just like holding your own selves accountable of um seeing like where you could have improved your part on certain situations or where like you are just like realizing your old ways of mindsets or your old ways of of your approaches on is that even a word approaches the way you approached things before like how you could improve on it three of pentacles in the reverse i do get this sense that whatever it is scorpio it's almost like this slight desire slight urge to just like lean back into something that just didn't work out for whatever reason initially three of pentacles with this knight of swords and the, like both of these cards in the reverse is really telling me a story of where it's like especially with it's under this five of pentacles scope it's almost this sense of you have the opportunity to like do something to the next level but then something started holding you back now was this like a mental thing for you scorpio where it's like you started getting in your head feeling like you couldn't do more or like you weren't ready uh like is your guard up at this time uh keep on hearing inhibitions as well it's been coming up a lot recently i do feel like some of you scorpios have just extremely been in your head and it's because you've been in your head that's why you have so many seven of cups options um because you're just in this place of um you know this sounds good but then you have to like work through some type of internal uh issues that you have with the situation for some reason that i feel um you know is this like an insecurity you know what's going on here scorpio so is this showing to me since you're going back to it like are you improving in your like the things that you like were insecure about scorpio that was holding you back from certain opportunities is that what's going on scorpio if so i love it i love it uh let's see the good things coming to you scorpio let's see what is going it's in the works this week the hermit card in the reverse so we addressed so i don't it's showing to me i don't need to be concerned for y'all scorpio for y'all like being too reclused off too closed off so it shows to me that you guys are being productive uh during this like include like reclused time yeah we have the ten of cups coming in all right yes you guys are doing a lot of healing i'm finding queen of pentacles healing in all facets of your life scorpio and this dynamic yeah the the relationships in your life are feel, are being healed even just like the sense that you have your sense of worth self-worth i feel like is just improving every single day with this queen of pentacles and this ten of cups it just feels like the things that you're working on are just feeling a lot more fulfilling and you're just like I don't know. It just feels like you're able to celebrate yourself a lot more right now, Scorpio. Um, so definitely, um, I do want to say though, because the, the like this hermit card, I know I said I wasn't going to be too concerned about it. Um, I do want to say that I do feel like this is associated, Scorpio, with you breaking out of your shell more. With this uh, hermit card, because keep in mind this hermit card comes in in the inverted for this Queen of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups to happen for you. Knight of Wands coming in here. Yeah, this is all about action. So it's just like you have the right intention, Scorpio, right? But you still need to take action. You still need to, at some point, break out of your shell and kind of just do it, right? For some of you, Scorpios, I feel like you need to hear the message that um, not everything is going to just be to the T deep detail of how you want it, right? Just because you have like perhaps like an insecurity about something, you know, 
yeah, you could work on that insecurity, right? But that shouldn't stop you from continuing to create or continuing to push further down your path, right? You can do multiple things at once. And you know this, Scorpio, right? You know you can work on this one thing that you don't like about yourself that makes you insecure and also working on this other thing as well while also progressing. You don't have to work on your insecurity first and complete this before you go into anything else, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this is something y'all just need to hear a little bit, right? And I know some of you guys are probably going right now. It's like, I know, I know, Velka, but it's just not as easy as it sounds, right? I know. All right. But I'll put it in perspective, right? If I did, if I had kept that energy as well, um, I, then I would not be making videos right now, darling. Trust and believe. So keep that in perspective. So now, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for your love and social relationships in your life this week. Because keep in mind, Scorpio, we have more than just romantic relationships. We have work relationships, family relationships, friendships, co-work. You, you get the drills, really. Let's see what's going on there for you. Five of air. So this card talks about an unwise choice, learning what you can from the situation and reviewing everyone's motives. So this could be in one of two ways, Scorpio. So we'll see in this connection uh, if this is in a more positive light or this is in a negative light. And it's already looking like in a more positive light with this Ace of Cups flying out before I could even get too into the shuffling. Ace of Cups opening up, Nine of Wands in the reverse. You guys are opening up and allowing some more help with what it is that you're doing, Scorpio. Seven of Wands. There's something that, you know, you're being asked with the Five of Air or that Five of Swords to review everyone's motives because quite literally, there's someone that I feel like in your life that you could open up further to, Scorpio. Um, I feel like another Zodiac sign got that message as well. I don't remember which one, so I'm not going to say. But I do feel like, yeah, Scorpio, there's a direct correlation to you no longer feeling like you have to take everything on your own, right? Nine of Wands in the reverse is really confirming this, where it's just like, you don't have to always travel your path alone, Scorpio. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to receive help, right? Very, yeah, I, there's definitely, I think it was like, maybe it was your reading, Scorpio, last week, where I said the, the quote was like, closed mouths don't get fed right because this is very much so the same energy where it's like closed mouths don't get fed yeah you could do this path on your own you could handle this challenge completely fine on your own it could take longer right i don't want to say completely fine but if you were to just open up you know if you were to just ask for help scorpio and allow some type of connection a little bit deeper i feel like you'd be pretty happy with what could come of it right so all that being said, Scorpio, now let's start getting into your financial as well as your wealth situation this week. Let's see, or wealth. Let's get into your financial and career situation this week, Scorpio. See what's going on here uh, for y'all. <clears throat> Eight of air, eight of swords. So some of y'all are experiencing a little bit of a block, darling. Some of y'all got into your head about something because of in your work life, there is some type of obstacle presented to you. And let me read off this card. This card says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action. So yes, yeah, Scorpio, darling, you guys are, something happened. Something has you guys feeling a little bit more, um, in your head and feeling stuck in your work life this could be a situation i do feel like it's a heavy like money block in some way so if you guys do do any type of spiritual practices definitely consider uh doing some type of cleansing uh for yourself if you have a black stone right connect to like a black stone like obsidian or tourmaline as well i feel like that'd be beneficial for you guys but yeah darling some of you guys are feeling a little bit stuck queen of wands coming in here but this is again kind of like the same message scorpio of just like breaking out kind of just like breaking through taking action not allowing yourself to just like curl back up right ten of pentacles coming in 
and then with the hermit card in the reverse i mean scorpio you can't really make this up right this is one of those things where it's like yeah you fell off that horse but you can get back up on it i don't know what's happened in your work life this week scorpio that has you in your head that has you feeling as if um you can't go further than where you already have or maybe just even with this eight of swords situation like there's just some type of insecurity just some kind of like something just happened in terms of your situation where it just isn't that pleasant and you're it's kind of just like a bummer right but the one thing you can't take from this scorpio is to allow this to uh really um how would we say just keep you trapped we can you know we don't want this situation to really be uh, continue on to where you, uh, how would we say, you know, just because you fell off that horse doesn't mean that you need to like lick your wounds for a lot, like long, right? You know, because I know for you Scorpios, I don't need to tell you to get back up on that horse because you guys will inevitably do it anyways, right? Um, but I feel like you guys are almost internalizing something, internalizing some type of perhaps inconvenience that's happened. Um, a little bit longer than what most people would ideally like to go through, right? And I'm not trying to rush y'all to go through your process of frustration or whatever, because it's in totally natural, normal to just get in, like, to have those emotions, right, darling? Because that happens to everybody. But um, do not allow this to stop you from taking further action. You can fall off that horse, darling, but it doesn't mean you have to just sit there. You can still be fall off that horse, get back up, and start walking. Even if you don't feel comfortable fully getting back on that horse, you can still make forward uh, progress. You can still make uh, uh, make some ground on foot, right? You don't have to just sit there like licking your wounds the entire time, right? Don't internalize things so much is something that I'm hearing, Scorpio. So yeah, that is the cards that I have for you this week, Scorpio. I hope you found some tarot cards that resonated with you this week. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you did. Be sure to as well to give this video a like as well if you do enjoy this video and a subscribe. Uh, I do weekly horoscope readings for all the zodiac signs, Scorpio. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, send them this video. Maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. If you're looking to do a personal reading with me, I have my website down below, simplyvelka.com. Um, all my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, TikTok, everything, darling. It's just simply welcome. So I hope I can connect with you, uh, Scorpio, sometime in the near future. I love you so much. Bye.